Board, and today's video I'm going to repurpose it and make it into a necklace holder. I am now moved into my new place so I have a new closet and everything and I also love love collecting long dangly necklaces. I need a good place to store them so that way they don't get tangled up and in today's video I'm going to show you just that how to organize them in a very cute way. So I hope you guys will find this video helpful. Let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the cork board that I will be using and it's quite a little bit scruffed up right now. At first I was thinking about painting this over. I would have liked to do some artwork on this surface, but as you can see, it's totally like ruined. So what I'm going to do is cover this with fabric and I love, love um, collecting fabrics. This is something from my previous project. So this is big and wide enough to cover the surface of this board. What I'm going to do is just figure out how much I will need. Make sure you have like enough to kind of like fold in the raw edges. So I'm just going to try and figure out how much fabric I will need. Let's cut off this little itty bitty piece. My width is perfect, good enough. And then my length, I will have to cut down the side. I cut just enough for me to have at least half an inch of extra fabric to fold in. So I'm going to fold in the raw edges like this, about like half an inch. And what I'm going to do is press it down with a hot iron. Okay guys, so what I did with all the sides, the raw edges, I just fold them in about half an inch and then I took a hot iron and I just like press it down like this. Okay, so after you have all the sides pressed in, take that and put it against your board and see how it fits. And if you need to make any adjustment, go right ahead and do so. All right, my next step is to take out my hot glue gun and what I'm going to do is glue on the edges. So just squeeze on some hot glue and be generous with the amount of hot glue. I would work on the corner first and then, then work my way down along the edges. Okay, so now that you have your fabric on the board nicely done, what I'm going to do next is take out some tacks. So I'm going to use a few tacks and there's, this is where you could get creative and have fun with this. Um, you can use like little cute buttons like this. I got this from uh, my local craft store or you can use rhinestones and you know, give it some sparkle. So all you have to do is glue the top of your tack and then place your rhinestone on top of it, just like that. And then what you're going to do is pin it onto the board. And you can pin it anywhere you want on the board. I usually use the top part of my board to pin. So I think I'm going to do it right over here, actually. All right, everyone, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And also, if you are wondering about Go Hugo, Hugo is the son of our very good friend, Mary Ann, here on HGTV Handmade. If you want to learn about Go Hugo, follow her below. I will put all the information below this video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.